Hey guys, uh, Big Dog Brewing here, coming back on uh, Homebrew Wednesday. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd jump on, um, give everybody an update of what's going on, and uh, do a quick review of a beer. So I already poured it, because I decided last minute to uh, jump on and do a video, but uh, this, is the, this is a Brett, uh, Brett Blonde from... Uh, Andrew from Running On Beer. Uh, I'm very excited to try it. It smells delicious. So I'm getting um, some berries out of the aroma. Doesn't have a lot of head on it, or no, not a lot of carbonation. Uh, I assume he kegged it and then bottled it, but Andrew, if you let me know. But I get definitely get a Brett character and um, like berry aroma. Uh, I don't know what's in it, but um, anyways, uh, it smells delicious. So cheers. Yeah. Um, definitely Brett uh, on there. Uh, tastes delicious. It's, it's beautiful. It's smooth. Um, that, that berry flavor is, is definitely coming through. I don't know if that's a, a product of the Brett or um, or not. Uh, I've never used Brett. Uh, uh, he said that it was done 100% with Brett. So um, not exactly sure what that means, uh, but whatever. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, this beer was actually uh, left in my cooler from NHC in Pittsburgh. Had a blast with uh, the rest of the guys that came a little over uh, a month ago, a month and a half ago now. So uh, anyway, uh, give you a quick update on what's going on with Big Dog Brewing. Um, haven't brewed in a while. Uh, been concentrating on getting the basement ready, uh, the brewery down in the basement. Um, plan on doing a video with uh, stills. I don't have any video of that, but um, just ran my 220 line. Uh, I'm waiting for a buddy to come and hook it up to my panel. Uh, and then the last thing is to uh, run the sink. Um, sink is pretty straightforward, uh, but um, I'm going to create, get creative and uh, connect, uh, make connections for a glass washer that'll be connected to the sink permanently, um, one of those upside down uh, glass washers. And then um, I'm going to make a, a quick disconnect connection with a ball lock uh, that will um, connect to my chiller, uh, my immersion chiller, uh, my jaded chiller. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so um, wait, I'm just working through that, trying to figure out the parts and pieces to that, uh, which I hope to have wrapped up. Uh, in the next couple days, um, maybe even a week or so. And then uh, really excited about uh, the experiments coming up for BrewTubers. Um, we have uh, a yeast experiment, or a hop experiment, I'm sorry, a hop experiment um, that uh, is using, um, there's six of us participating in the hop experiment. Uh, we are using three different versions of Citra and three different versions of mosaic um that's uh you know three the three versions are t90 uh lupo max and uh yakima valley's new um incognito hop i'm lucky enough to where i am the one using um the mosaic incognito so we're going to be doing a blonde ale uh all six of us are going to be uh, brewing that recipe and just using different hops and then shipping it around and seeing the difference. So uh, excited about that. Um, as part of the, the uh, hop experiment, um, Imperial Yeast has been uh, kind enough to donate their house yeast to us. Um, and Five Star is donating some cleaning products to all the six um, uh, brewers. So um, really excited about that. Uh, excited to get all the components there and get going on that. And then um, 
uh, working on another unofficial experiment in the club. Um, a lot of us got our hands on some Phantasm, um, which is a byproduct of grape uh, skins from New Zealand. And uh, we're going to kind of unofficially do an experiment. Uh, a few of us are uh, collabing on individual beers, but uh, kind of putting it out there to the entire club uh, saying, um, you know, hey, if you want to get in on this, uh, get some Phantasm, brew a beer, and then we'll ship it around to people. So um, really excited about that. So uh, that is coming up here soon. And uh, the, the hop experiment beers, uh, probably you'll start seeing videos on those um, probably, oh, probably late October-ish by the time everybody brews and ships and everything else. So um, anyway, uh, great stuff coming from the club, uh, great stuff coming from Big Dog Brewing. Uh, really excited um, about uh, uh, brewing again. Haven't brewed in a while. Uh, did brew a cream ale and took it to NHC uh, that went over really well. Um, a lot of people liked it. They got a, got a lot of good comments on it. Um, that's long gone now. Uh, yeah, I'm just realizing uh, right there, my kids left a little uh, smiley face. That's great. Awesome. Um, anyway, uh, other than that, not much going on. Uh, hop on for Homebrew Wednesday. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. Take it easy, everybody. Andrew, thank you for the beer. I uh, want to just drop, drop a thank you very much to our sponsors um, from uh, for BrewTubers Online Homebrew Club. Um, look us up at www.brewtubers.com. Uh, we also have an Instagram page, um, Twitter page, or Twitter handle. Um, and uh, you can also find me on Instagram at Big Dog Brewing Co., uh, or my YouTube channel, Big Dog Brewing, or also on Twitter. So, um, yeah, uh, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Yakima Valley Hops, um, Imperial Yeast, uh, Five Star Chemical, uh, and Brewers Hardware. Um, really appreciate you guys. And, of course, uh, Beer and Wine Hobby out of the New England area, who is the uh, official homebrew shop of uh, the club. So, um, talk to you guys later. Still drinking that beer. Cheers.